If libertarians were in charge, fewer people would be in charge of you. Now that frightens some people. They say, if no one's in charge, there'd be chaos. And that's intuitive, but think about a skating rink. Let's say you'd never seen one. An entrepreneur tells you, I want to create something that I'll call this skating rink. And young and old people will go there and strap sharp blades to their feet and speed through this oval arena on top of ice. They'll weave patterns as moods strike them. You'd probably say, no, you can't have that. We need regulation, skating stoplights, speed limits, turn signals, a rink director to police the skaters. You can't expect people to safely navigate the rink on their own. And yet, they do. They spontaneously create their own order. There are some rules. You can't smash into people or knock people down. And if libertarians were in charge, there would be some laws. Government would exist to protect us from foreign enemies and from people who would steal or injure us. We'd have laws to do what the Constitution authorizes, this little book. And I would add pollution rules to this. But then the skaters, the people, would get to do as they wanted. When people are left free to do what they want, people prosper. Even the poorest people prosper. Last century, Hong Kong was third world poor. Its citizens' average annual income was under $700 in today's dollars. Today, it's almost $44,000. Hong Kong lifted itself out of poverty because Hong Kong's rulers, stuffy British bureaucrats, practiced what I'd call benign neglect. They enforced rule of law, but then they left people alone. And free people, left alone, created prosperity. America's founders did the same thing, but our political class has messed that up by adding thousands of new laws every year, every day. We're now drowning in rules. This micromanagement kills opportunity. How about a copy of Give Me a Break? I'm told it's a wonderful book. I opened a business recently. I named it the Stossel Store. You want to buy a Fox t-shirt? Not right now. Hey, I didn't say it was a smart business, but this ability to at least try to succeed is important. Without new, small businesses, there's little innovation and job creation. But America doesn't make it easy. Does your business need to form file 720 quarterly excise tax return? I found it very difficult to even understand the legal hoops required just for my very simple business. How do I know? I had to register with the Delaware Secretary of State and Division of Corporations. Get a federal employee identification number. Buy commercial liability insurance. Register with the Delaware State Department of Finance. But in Delaware, this can be done in just a few days. The fastest growing parts of the world, like Hong Kong, make entrepreneurship easy. In Hong Kong several years ago, I got a business permit in just one day. Thank you, sir. It's a reason Hong Kong got rich. They encourage entrepreneurs to try. And that's what makes life prosperous and grand. That freedom to experiment brings us iPhones and symphonies, cancer treatments, and Lady Gaga. Getting rid of most of the rules and restoring that freedom to try things would bring America prosperity and security. That's our show. Thanks for watching. Good night.